Tonight and for the next 8 minutes you'll be watching the Pixel Polygon history. For the first time in the Pixel Polygon, I make horrible Chris Tyrant impressions and critique a video game and it could be here tonight. No tricks, no traps. I will leave the studio with non-existent cash prizes and if I have the skill and nerve, I could leave here a millionaire. To find out how you can take part, but just share the tension, the tears and triumph at home. Join us now for Who Wants To Be A Millionaire? So today we're going to take a look at who wants to be a millionaire for the PC. This is the General Mills version made in 1999 by Valley Crest Productions and published by Bonavista Interactive. Despite being made in 1999, this actually came in the General Mills cereal box sometime in the 2000s. According to the back, this disc was assembled in Hong Kong in March of 2001. If you're not overly familiar with General Mills, they're the guys responsible for Lucky Charms and Cheerios. Apparently, they had this promo going on where there were packages of General Mills cereal boxes that contained one of the, however many, CD-ROM titles. I have three of them. Roller Coaster Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. All these games claim they work on Windows 95 and 98, but I have seen them work on Windows XP as well. Which, of course, means if you want to play this game on your Windows 95 machine, you best be grabbing a decent sound card. Unfortunately, this game plays in a resolution of 640x480, so if you try to play this game on a modern day 1080p monitor, then the picture is really small. But without further ado, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Who Wants to Be a Millionaire starts off with some pretty sick install shield setup music. After which, you need to restart your computer for some reason. <sighs> Once you get the game started, you're greeted with a series of unskippable logos. Then you get the world's most graphically advanced intro, along with an FMV cutscene with the ABC version host, Regis Philbin. Who wants to be a millionaire? Then you get to select how many players you want, although in my time with this game, I soon discovered that the program would quit automatically if you don't respond. It also makes Regis very upset. Okay, no game for you today. Come back next year. Maybe soup then. Maybe game then. Maybe never! Okay, moving on then. I really don't recommend the multiplayer version since the only part that's considered to be multiplayer is Fastest Finger First. You can have up to 26 players, each corresponding with a certain letter on the keyboard. But how do you play without crowding around everybody's fingers? I guess you could have two keyboards, but it makes it more frustrating than fun. Besides, all the questions are put stuff in order where the computer randomly places items in order, and you just have to press the button at the right time. The right combination can take a while to appear, so if you want to play the drinking game, take a shot every time the wrong answer appears. If you select the one player mode, or somehow manage to triumph over your friends and potential enemies without becoming tired, you get to go to the hot seat. These were the days before the guys who made the syndicated version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire decided to screw everything up. Then you answer questions and that's it. Answer question until you reach one million dollars. No tricks, no traps. Or are there tricks and traps? Well, here's a problem with this game. You can't even walk away without using up all your lifelines. I understand why they did this, but it's still one of the main features of the show. In the real show, they allow you to quit even if you didn't use up all your lifelines, but here, you're forced to use up your lifelines for some reason. One minor complaint that I have with this game is it's keyboard only, calling back to the DOS days. I would have liked to be able to use the mouse and click on answers and lifelines, not to mention a quit button. 
Okay, so if the gameplay is bad, how about the presentation? It's not great, mostly consisting of static images, round circles for menu buttons, and etc. One thing I can't ignore is the animations. Wait, why is there transitions in the game? We need those boring, no transition lower thirds. All jokes aside though, the one thing I'm really annoyed with is the zooming in and out of the hot scene. Just stop it, I didn't ask for this. It does this every time you move up to a level. Except for the first five questions. That just adds to the more time spent playing this horrible game. And every time you lose, Re just spews a line or two, and then it plays this clip. Who wants to be a millionaire? It's like they force the dialogue to work with the end clip, especially when they reuse it over and over again. Another thing I'm bothered with is the voice clips. Why are all the phone a friend clips so specific and Regis just use the same clip over and over again? Compare the clips from phone a friend and then compare it to Regis's response. What game did astronaut Alan Shepard play during the 1971 moonwalk? Oh, that was easiest. Um, go. I'm sure of that. So you say it's A. The lifeline always discusses the question and the answer while Regis goes, so you're going with, insert letter here, huh? Why? If you're willing to go the extra length to record phone a friend lifeline voice clips, you can spare the extra time, money, and storage space to record Regis reading the questions and answers. And the zero dollar check. Jeez. Why write a check for zero dollars? It's just mockery. And not to mention, it's a waste of paper. In the real show, you just shake hands and leave. But here, you're just laughed at by Regis Philbin. You're humiliated by host Regis Philbin. And when you finally get through all this and finally manage to win $1 million, it becomes that moment of triumph where you've gone through all the pain and suffering and you finally get to that pot of gold at the end. Or is it? No. So there you are. You're a millionaire. Yeah, could you believe it? Don't believe it. Just kidding. You're kind of a millionaire. You're a fake millionaire. But you had a good time, didn't you? What else do you want? We all love you. Congratulations. You saw that right. You've just been humiliated for winning the game. Who does that? Come on. That's just like saying, you found my treasure that will make you millions. Now bury it somewhere because you don't even deserve it. Overall, who Wants to Be a Millionaire was a desperate attempt by Disney to promote their game show, which sadly has been ruined today, and General Mills really shouldn't have distributed this game in a pack of Cheerios or something like that. It's a collectible that never should be touched. Or is it a collectible? You can find General Mills CD-ROM games for less than $30 on eBay. So is this game really worth that much money anyway? It's a game where you struggle to get on top, and when you finally manage to prevail, you're just slapped hard in the face, and you get knocked back down to the bottom. Nobody should have the honor of playing this game, because if you do, you'll just get killed cheaply, and find that few bucks you spent on eBay was wasted on this scam that these people decided to call a game. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, check out my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe.